J.D. Slackert is a former college athlete and is currently a novelist, speaker, and philanthropist, born and raised in Los Angeles, California. Moonflower is his latest book, which was inspired by his biggest fan who succumbed to sickle cell disease. J.D. is now the Director of Relationship Development for the Lux Strong Foundation, a nonprofit organization that supports children who are diagnosed with sickle cell disease. Here to tell us more is J.D. himself. Welcome to the show. Hey, it's uh, such a pleasure to be here. I, I love Florida already. This is my first time actually here and uh, I was in Boca Raton last night. So shout out to Boca Raton, but thank you for having me. And uh, yeah, shout out to South Florida. It's great having you. Now you have to tell us, tell us about your journey from being an athlete to being a, a novelist. Yeah, sure. Well, that's uh, quite a journey and quite a turn, you know, I really went on. Um, but, you know, basketball was sort of the beginning of my career and life and just really like persona of who I am and uh, I met this incredible kid named Luke Vaden who uh, was my biggest fan and someone that really believed in me during my time as an athlete um, and then he tragically passed away from sickle cell disease and when he passed I just felt like I had to tell our story um, which is what inspired me to then become an author and write my first book, Moonflower. Right. Well, you have two books. Yep. They're both <laughs> fiction. Yep. So tell us a little bit of insights on Moonflower. Yeah, so Moonflower is a coming-of-age novel uh, I wrote while I was in college. And uh, like I said, it's very much inspired by my friendship with Luke and everything that he represented in my life, um, but also, uh, you know, a friendship with somebody else, too. And, um, yeah, it's, it's just kind of took on this life of its own and led into all these, like, speaking events and uh, opportunities to give back and do nonprofit work. So Moonflower has been this gift that's been giving and giving to me for a long time, but... So now let's talk about the foundation itself. Yeah. You have an upcoming event. Yeah. Yeah, so the Luke Strong Foundation is a nonprofit I work with uh, and partnered with. And I'm doing a lot of fundraising for the Luke Strong Foundation right now, which again is a nonprofit that supports children with sickle cell disease. Um, so currently I'm in the middle of a fundraiser called 24K for Luke's 24, um, where Luke actually would have been a graduating senior from high school this year. So I'm going out and talking about our story, this book, uh, and trying to raise as much money for other kids that are imp impacted by this illness. And uh, yeah, it's really fulfilling work. And I feel like we're doing a really great job of spreading awareness, which is why I wanted to come on today. And um, yeah, it's meaning meaningful stuff for sure. Absolutely, it's fantastic. And we mentioned in your introduction that you are a motivational speaker. So you recently gave a speech in your high school. Yes. Tell us about that. Yeah, I was very nervous. <laughs> it was a crazy, <laughs> Uh, experience didn't sleep much like leading up to it um, but it was uh, it was amazing I mean so I got to go back to my old high school Oak Park which is in Southern California and uh, yeah be the keynote speaker at their graduation and deliver some words to some kids that um, you know I felt could could benefit a little bit from my journey the things I've done the places I've gone and uh, yeah it was a dream come true to be honest so what's yeah. next for you yeah, so currently I'm looking for uh, film and TV partners for this film and this project. Uh, Moonflower is a story that's gaining lots and lots of momentum, um, and we're going far and wide with this story. And uh, I have aspirations to turn it into a movie and to see who else out there can help me do that. Um, I think, you know, if you want to impact and tell this story to millions of people, uh, that's a great way to do it. And uh, currently, that's the uh, I think the thing that's going to be coming up next for us and um, I'm very excited to see, you know, what kind of talent we can attract, uh, what kind of people want to get involved, and, and hopefully tell a story I think can be really meaningful and impactful in that way too. So Absolutely. Well, good luck on your journey, and thank you for everything that you do for this population of children that suffer with sickle cell. Where can we go for more information? Yeah, and thank you so much for having me. Thank you for saying that too. And um, yeah, if, if anybody's interested, they can also find out more about me on my website, www.jdwritesbooks.com. You can also find me on Instagram and Twitter at JD underscore Slackert. And then for more information on that fundraiser 24K for Luke's 24 or the Luke Strong Foundation, you can just go to www.lukestrong.org. Well, thank you, JD, for stopping by, actually flying in from California <laughs> and sharing with us this amazing book and all the insightful information it has to offer. Appreciate it. Thank you so much for having me. Hopefully I'll be back another yeah. time soon. I would love that. Absolutely. Thank you.